Hello, you two. I know you want to go out. I'll get Johnny to take you guys for a walk. I got to make a video. Crazy. Take it easy, everybody. I know you love me. All right, handsome. Come on, let's roll. Okay, well, you know what? We're going to go for a little while, and then you come home with for lunch with Dad. And we'll hang out with Mom. We'll sit on the couch. You go in the bathroom? Okay. All right, we're ready. Everything tucked in? All right. So proud of you. Thank you. You're doing such a great job. We'll see Mommy in a little while. How you doing, handsome? You can take your mask off. How'd you do? You want to take it off? Here, put your bag in the uh, back. Did you have fun at school? Take that as a yes. Are you ready to? Um, are you ready to go home? Yes. Yep. You want to have some lunch? Lunch. Great. We'll sit on the couch. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Yes. All right. We're out of here. Nikki, can you come put your bagel in the toaster for me? That's it. Very good. Excellent. Push that down. Way to go. That's easy for you, huh? <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Was that delicious? Go slow. Finish what's in your mouth, please. Here, do you need a napkin? There you go. A little peanut butter on stuff. How was school? Did you have fun? Did you work with Mr. Fasano? And Miss A? Yeah. Okay, finish what's in your mouth. Thank you. Were they happy? Man, yeah, oh yeah. That peanut butter is something special, isn't it? Wipe off your hands, handsome. Great job. Nikki, you want to look at the calendar? Yes, yes because <laughs> we're, uh, yep, we're going to stay home with mommy. Today is Tuesday the 7th. Do you want to, do you want to cross that out? Out. We got to get across. Cross. You want to go get the, uh, go get the marker? Johnny, go grab my marker that you can do that with. Oh, he's so smart. Oh, there it is. That's yellow. So here's, here's today. We did the school already. Done. Very good. Now that's tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow, Mommy's home too. So you're going to be with Mommy, right? And Sam. And Sam. Sam's coming tomorrow too. That's exciting. So happy. Sam Mommy. Yeah, Sam and Mommy. Stay. Stay home with Mommy. So today was a great day in terms of progress for our little DJ initiative. What's the matter with you, Nick? Who has a cow? Who has a cow? I don't want a cow. There's no chickens. There's no cows. We only have horses. What did you just yell? No cow? <laughs> he just said no cow. Please, no cow. I'm not I don't want a cow. We can't have cows. No cows. <laughs> or if you want a cow, we can have a cow. So I brought the idea up to Mrs. Harrison last night in terms of bringing on somebody with special needs to the DJ company, and I asked her to, oh, she's calling me. Isn't that something? We talked a little bit about the role that I wanted to create within the DJ company and how I thought it would be a good idea to train this person, uh, and she gave me her feedback, and it was really very helpful. We also reached out to our potential candidate and they were very, very happy to receive the phone call. And we're actually gonna be going through an interview process um, next week. So we're pretty excited about that. The parents were really excited. This is the kind of thing this young man trains for at school. Uh, so they really wanted to have this interview. And then we're gonna start training on Tuesday. So this idea is moving forward. We're all very, very excited. Movie, you mad? Movie, Father the movie, Robot movie. Frosty Snowman movie, Sonic movie. <laughs> Who's your favorite? That's better. Tails, Amy movie. Tails, Amy movie. Right. All right, you fix him. Good right. job, mom. What's the matter, hands?
I love being, I love being a turtle. Turtles count it off. Turtles count it off. Let me hear. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Turtle. Hey Nick, can you help me water the flowers? You want, you want to turn on the hose? Bottles. Come on, let's, let's go turn on the hose. It's gonna make you happy. Okay. Okay. Hey Rocky, easy, easy. How's that feel on your feet? Are you gonna water those flowers for me? Cannibal. 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 That usually works. I didn't really tell you about my drop off today with Nick. The um, it was not quite as smooth as yesterday, and it was really just because. Mm. He must, has he been carrying coins? Have you noticed him carrying coins? No. So he had his mask, took his mask out. He was about to put it on, but he couldn't do it because he had a quarter in his hand. Mm -hmm. And then he drops the quarter. The quarter goes down to the ground and under the Jeep. I didn't tell you this. He dives down to his belly and starts trying to sprint under the Jeep. Now this is on the car line of the drop-off. I was already out of the car, so I was able to stop him. So I, and the quarter rolls like to the middle under the car. And so I literally have to climb under the car, get the quarter, give him the quarter. Now, because I moved so quickly, because the car was running, it was in park, and there's no way I'm letting Nick go under the car. No. So he must have been nervous about, you know, just how quickly I was moving and all of that. And so we had to stand there and hug it out for a good 30 seconds with his face like right of two millimeters from my face. So much so there were like other parents like, you know, smiling like you're a good guy, you know, and that kind of thing. It was, yeah, it was quite the scene. Oh, but he recuperated. Yes, he, he came back together. You know, he was happy. He didn't want to wear the mask. At that point, after that, after I got the quarter, he was like, enough already, you know? Well, but I he put it on. Maybe he'll like, well, I ordered the blue yeah. ones, and he was kind of happy with them. How was he in class? Did you speak with Miss yeah, A today? he said he was beautiful. Great. Um, and I think maybe somebody made him a superhero man. Did he bring it home? Not yet. Oh, at school? Uh, or somebody no. around here made him a somebody superhero? around here made him a superhero man. Mm. Really? Why do I feel like you know more than you're saying? Oh, 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 that's so nice. Oh, that'll be exciting. Yeah, so. Awesome. And he's fine now. He just needs the hose. Nikki, do you want to take your socks off? There you go. He likes to do the rock dance. Oh, there we go. Way to go, Nick. Nick might be a fireman in the making. <laughs> I think we have to clean up these beds too because yeah. it's starting to get a little crazy. You can't even see out of here anymore. I know, it's too much. So these guys right here are wild roses. Oh no, they're not. These aren't the wild roses. No, those are just weeds. Those, those are just weeds. Where are the wild roses? They are here. Okay, here you go. They have the stickers. The little, there are little prickly things on there. Yeah. And they're starting to get a little intimidating. There's just too many of them. So we're going to rip all these babies out because we have the wild roses all over the perimeter. Yeah. And, yeah, we have those, those flowers all over here. These are the guys I'm referring to. That's so pretty. Beautiful. And then Cousin Ray sent us all of these babies that we have to plant. So we gotta clean up the beds again. It, it's it's st really starting to push it. Do you remember that we decided to put this banana tree over here because we felt like we could see through here. There wasn't enough privacy. I know. You can't see out anymore, Shan. No. This There's is, no, holes. no, no, this is like, 
crazy jungle action happening. Also have our first tomatoes I see happening here. Here's some big tomato plants. Where are you? Also covered in basil. I don't know. This was not well thought out. It's just a big mess, but we'll see what happens. I'm using the basil every day. Uh, but yeah, Sean, isn't it early to already have tomatoes growing? There's tomatoes all over this bush. Wow, look at that. That's even a nice size one down there. Very exciting. So this was all delivered today. So that tells me that Shannon's brother, Sean, is probably going to be coming back in the very near future to start the next phase of our backyard project. And the next phase is a roof over this outside uh, bar. And we're also going to be changing the countertop. That countertop was just temporary because we were having that big party. Uh, we're going to be doing a cement countertop. So we're all really excited about that. That should be happening in the very, very near future. This right here is a tree that we wanted to save when we did the whole clear out back here because he was a fighter. He was trying to fight his way through and we just wanted to help him out. And he's done really well. Like these are new, these parts at the top. And so I planted them over here because there was a little opening. But since then, a canopy has grown above it and it's not getting enough sun. And it looks like it's starting to struggle for sure. So I'm either gonna have to cut out some of that canopy or transplant them all together. I think we might transplant them. Uh, but Slender is hanging in there. I have a lot of faith in this guy. He's, to he's a fighter. Let me hear you sing it, Nick. I love being. Turtles count it off. One, two, three, four. Turtle. See, so you know the differences between you and I and sometimes Shannon is that I like to find problems, strategize, make an appointment to fix it. You just start. No matter what else is happening, you're, you move forward, man. You know how to drive things forward. Yep. You're almost done. If you if you try to pull out those rose bushes without gloves though, you will absolutely regret it. Wow, there's some regular old ivy growing over here too. I know. Yeah, that's good. I don't like to pull the ferns. I like the ferns. Well, the ferns gotta go. Everybody's gotta go. Sean, there's the sticker bush. I don't know what grows on these, but these, these things are gonna survive the end of days. Look at these stickers on those. They're wrapping up that tree. No, that's gotta get handled. Those are really intimidating. Look at those guys. I don't wanna mess with him. I tell you, I can't, I can't even explain how excited I am about the future, Miss Shannon. Yeah, because we have so much awesome stuff happening now they now Johnny has some parties booked so I need he's got a party booked July 25th he's got okay. a party booked August 3rd he has at least one party in September I know he has at least one party I think he has two parties in October and he also has a party next June already oh, yeah? yes and that's with the economy still you know sputtering along you know yeah. with none of the no catering halls open and all of that jazz so the phone is gonna start ringing Right? And, you know, just to give all these kids this opportunity to get involved, Friday. I hope... Yes, Nick? Uh, no raw, no raw. Okay, no, no raw. What are we? Happy flamingos. I'm a happy flamingo. Are you... Nick? Nicky, are you a happy flamingo? Are you a happy flamingo? Yes? I'm a happy flamingo. Anyway, I just couldn't be happier for this young man who's going to come start working with us. I know it's going to be... Uh, successful and everybody involved is just so happy uh, to be part of it and I think that the market is going to respond in kind I'm excited too. I think people are going to be so excited just to be part of whatever we're doing right and it's a great opportunity for John I mean how many kids uh, you know can say they're going to the, their first semester of college for business administration oh and by the way I have this company that is, you know, really just a vehicle to employ uh, people with special needs. 
it's all very exciting. Very, very exciting for our future, Nick James. Right? Can we say bye-bye? Bye-bye. God bless you. God bless you. We love you. We'll see you next time. Next time. <laughs>